Ah, oh, man, good morning. So I tried to get to the spot uh, last night, but the road was uh, pretty interesting in that there were a lot of, not a lot, but there were fences and gates and kind of key areas to get further onto this trail and get out to this actual mining area. And so I'm going to try and see if I can get up this hill over here with uh, my truck or uh, I might just walk it. But I'm kind of under a time crunch right now because I'm actually out here uh, with my wife and two girls and uh, they're staying in a hotel in Grants right now and check out times at noon. So I gotta get this uh, all packed up and uh, ready to rock so then I can uh, see if I can make it out to this place and still make it back in time to grab them. So let's get going. So after some careful consideration, <laughs> thinking of uh, the survival of my truck, I am just going to walk the rest of the way. Uh, I probably could make it if I had someone spotting me, like letting me know where to place my tires. Uh, but there's a pretty big shelf that I'd have to scoot on up there. So then I'm going to do the responsible thing and uh, <laughs> just, uh, just hike in and uh, see what I find. I should have enough time to do all of that. All right, let's get a move on. So this is the rock shelf. I would have had to try and get my truck up. And uh, it maybe could have happened, but I just didn't feel like uh, chancing it all the way out of here. So now we're walking. So right here is uh, one of the gates that uh, <laughs> I would have run into, but this one's a little different than the other ones I ran into last night. This one doesn't have a no trespassing sign, and it also has a chain that's linked over there that you can undo yourself. And I've run into uh, gates like this before out in certain trails where you just open them and pass through and then close them behind you so that cattle don't go into the wrong areas. Let's get this thing open and keep going. On the other side, <laughs> got con some bob wire there. On the other side of that gate, gonna continue down the road here and uh, see what we find. Hopefully, it's something good, you know, worth the trip. Even though I love this, it's I love hiking around in the desert when it's not hot. It's nice and cool right now. That's why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. So these mounds of rock are usually the telltale sign of uh, mining has been afoot. So I would imagine radiation levels might be jumping up here soon. Poke around here, just leave the tripod here and uh, see what we find. Run a little faster, because I don't have that much time. <laughs> see, so I can tell that one's radioactive because that yellow right there, or you know, more radioactive than the other rocks. I found this piece just laying out in the open. It's pretty nice and very hot. So 
it looks like this piece of, or this deposit of uranium is just laying on top of this sandstone, how it's like layered off here, like you can just pull this all off. Yeah, getting around 60,000, 66,000 counts per minute. It's not bad, but it's uh, it's not crazy. <laughs> I'm actually trying to find some really hot pieces here. But I can see why the EPA report, the Aerial uh, Radiological Survey, uh, had this place come up because this is basically an ore dump, this whole area right here. All right, let's get going. Hey, you find pieces like this just laying on the ground. This one's pretty hot. Just found this little piece. Give me like a hundred thousand counts per minute, 113 somewhere right around there. This will probably be a uh, last piece I pick up today. I gotta get going. I still gotta hike back to my truck and then take that uh, <laughs> take that road back. And there's some uh, dicey areas even on that trail I took in last night. So I was looking at this and I noticed that there's a uh, carnitite right here on this rock that goes out into this little flooding area, so this little waterfall. And of course, it's radioactive. Looks like it's about 38,000 counts per minute. But yeah, this stuff is everywhere. So the other thing I wanted to briefly uh, touch on about this area is that um, back in the past, they actually used a lot of uh, Native Americans, like Navajo, to mine this area. And so some of them died from lung cancer from breathing too much radon. Because just like anything, if they didn't like ventilate the mines well enough, you could uh, breathe too much radon and actually develop cancer. Because there's like, there's a threshold of where it's just too much for the body to uh, repair from that damage. And so, yeah, I don't know exactly what the mining practices were back then, but it uh, sounds like they weren't exactly great. And the other thing is too around here is that people complain that the uranium mines contaminated the water table. And I don't know about that because this uranium deposit would have been here no matter what. Uh, if people mined it or not. And so it would have leached into the water table regardless. There's a radium and uranium in almost all drinking water because it comes from natural sources because the water passes right through naturally occurring radioactive materials and those get picked up in the water and we ingest them. But they try and take that out as much as possible. So, but anyway, just wanna share that with you. Well, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for uh, Poison Canyon. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of brief look at this place. I hope to come back here uh, fairly soon and do some more extensive exploring of this place because it looks like there's a bunch of like uh, mining areas like over here. And then there's also the more accessible area of Poison Canyon uh, that I haven't even explored yet. And so I really want to check that out as well. So. Um, those will be future videos somewhere down the line. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like it, share it, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, if you want to feel like uh, supporting this channel, I would say go to uraniumstore.com and see if there's anything there you want to buy. Like a t-shirt, radioactive antique, a piece of uranium ore, something like that. If not, uh, just keep watching the videos. I'm making them for you guys. All right, take it easy. See you next time.